I have five bold predictions about the next camera from Blackmagic Design. Stay tuned. What's going on guys? My name is Ty Turner, former Army combat photographer and CEO of Flash Film Media. And if this is your first time on our channel, Flash Film Academy is designed to help people like yourself turn their passion into profit. We call them contentpreneurs. Let's get right into it. These are my five super bold predictions. And let me start by saying I have no inside information. However, there is a pattern going on. There is a trend in the industry. And Blackmagic seems to be pretty good at following the trend. And if you look at current equipment that they have out now that aren't cameras, it screams one major thing. So the first prediction I'm going to put out there is the camera will shoot an 8K. It will shoot an 8K at 120 frames per second, 4K and 240 frames per second, 1080p and 480 frames per second. And it would be under 8K. Now, it may be at the same price as the current Ursa, but I'm going to say that it's going to be under 8,000, maybe 799. Now that may not be a shocker to you looking at all of their current broadcast equipment that they're putting out. Everything is 8K. Now, they don't want you to go buy a Sony camera to shoot with their broadcast equipment in 8K. They want you to shoot with their cameras in 8K. So the next logical move for them is to release a 8K camera. It may not be an Ursa Mini. It may be something else. It may be a bigger version. It may be the traditional Ursa, which I doubt if they bring that back. But that gets us to bold prediction number two, a completely redesigned body. There are some great things about the Ursa Mini. A lot of people complain about ergonomics and a lot of people like certain things. One thing I hear people don't like is the on and off switch or the placement of the volume knobs. I think that they go back to the drawing board and they redesign the body. I think the fact that they came out with the G2 was to help them move some of that old parts and pieces that they purchased for the outside, the screens and things for the body. So I think that they're like, hey, we're gonna change the guts, we're gonna move the rest of these bodies, and we're gonna move forward with a different design. So I wouldn't be surprised if they came out with a totally different design, something maybe, maybe smaller. I mean, look at what Sharp has done with their 8K camera. It's really the size of the pocket. I actually had a chance to play with one at NAB, and I'll post a link to that, but but look at what they're doing. I wouldn't be surprised if we get maybe a little bit of a smaller design, something around the Red Raven size, brain only, that will be a little bit smaller and better. I also see that they would make this camera even more modular with their new design. Bold prediction number three, 18 stops of dynamic range. I see them upping the dynamic range. The 15 stops of dynamic range that they have now is great, but it always takes them out of the conversation with Reds and Alexas that offer a little bit more dynamic range, sometimes 16 or more stops of dynamic range. 18 is a reach, and normally something like that is 18 on paper, 16, 17 in real life, but I see it being advertised at 18 stops of dynamic range. Bold prediction number four is a full frame sensor. Now, if this camera is to be above the Ursa Mini, I see it coming with a full frame sensor. If it's to replace the Ursa Mini, I see it coming with a Super 35 that may offer no rolling shutter in the 4K, 4.6K range. At 8K, it's probably gonna offer some rolling shutter. Something that's shooting 8K is already gonna use a lot of the system resources. The rolling shutter has not been an issue on the uh, Ursa Mini. It is there, but it's not like it was on previous models. So. This is probably something they're testing and working on. However, to have a full frame 8K sensor at 17 stops of dynamic range would completely set them apart. And I can see Blackmagic being the disruptor to do this for under $8,000. Bold prediction number five is quite simple. Maybe dual native ISO. I see this camera being a lot better in low light. I see it being a lot cleaner output. I think the cutoff point um, when Blackmagic bent the corner was the Ursa Mini 4K. Everything after that has been really good cameras. And I think they continue this trend with the next iteration of what could be the newest Ursa or Ursa Mini. I see them maybe even going to a better name instead of something so long with the next camera design. My bonus bold prediction is an electronic ND filter. That may be a little bit of a wish, but uh, it would be nice to have if you're listening to Blackmagic. You know, you can go ahead and throw that boy on there. 
would be nice. Another bonus prediction, which is not much of a prediction, but it is, is interchangeable mounts, which I know already comes on the Ursa, but interchangeable mounts that give you the ability to mount e-mount glass to your body so that would be a game changer if you can use sony lenses slap an adapter use ef lenses slap an adapter use nikon lenses that would be a game changer and if they offer that it, it would be a wrap for 8k man i sell one of my kids that's what i think is coming next from black magic i'm also tell you this i think it will be announced at nab next year and available that summer that's a really bold prediction but that's just my opinion may not happen but with all this 8k equipment coming out you have to expect an 8k camera coming soon all right guys if you agree with me post some comments let's talk about it you know i like to reply to comments i'm on here all the time i also like to hear things you would like to see on the new ursa or the new camera from black magic whatever it's called i would love to hear what you think should be on the camera especially for a lot of you ursa users who are like man if i just had this this camera would be perfect let's talk about it in the comments maybe black magic will see it Maybe they want to know what you guys think. Who knows? I'm sure they got a team that's out scouring the internet looking for feedback. So this is your chance. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video.